Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chief Technology Officer, Cyberport, Dr. David Chung. How are you doing? So good afternoon. Uh, before my presentation, I give you uh, some of our video highlights of what Cyberport and our Community Cloud uh, you know, we just launched recently. Yeah, please play the video first. Thank you. Thank you. So, well, since uh, a number of you may be coming from overseas, uh, maybe uh, you have been uh, enjoying our, you know, this infrastructure and our airport is so efficient. I just want to give you some highlight, you know, what we have been enjoying in the last, uh, you know, 10, uh, 20 years when we have the internet. You know, so Hong Kong, actually, we are, we are quite proud of, you know, we have been deregulated the telco industry for a while. So we can enjoy very f fast, efficient broadband network. And it's actually helping the whole industry, especially the ICT industry. As, as you can see, a lot of reports is actually pointing Hong Kong as a very good you know, uh, e-commerce, uh, e-business. Uh, as you can see, a lot of um, mobile uh, is also helping all this. In terms of the, um, the re readiness, you can see uh, cloud readiness index actually Pointing Hong Kong is actually ranked number three in, in the region that we are you know kind of ready for the cloud and then uh, you know a lot of the, this uh, talking about Hong Kong is a very free economy. So all in all, this uh, will will kind of giving you uh, that um, you know Hong Kong is kind of uh, good for ICT industry. So we are talking about 6.1 percent uh, related to ICT you know contribute uh, to the GDP of Hong Kong. And I think this, this momentum is continuing to grow as we can see this uh, in, in, in the trend. And Cyberport is actually 100% owned by Hong Kong government. This project is about 10 years now. And this is an incubator for a lot of ICT uh, startup companies. Uh, we get a whole bunch of uh, this company that riding on this infrastructure and then try to do their own business and then serving different countries uh, around the region. So Technology Center is one of our uh, so-called center of excellence. We provide different kind of um, service as well as software, hardware to support the startup. So our, our goal is really to lower the entry barrier for a lot of startup companies because we need that, uh, the necessary service and support uh, to, to make sure the startup company to, try, to thrive. And uh, the journey uh, is, is hard, we understand, for a lot of startup companies. So that's why we have to be their so-called uh, testing lab. So cloud is one of the key initiatives that we kind of embarked a, a couple of years ago. And uh, so far, our community, we are growing uh, about three to five, 400 startups. Some of them are university uh, graduates. Some of them are seasoned professionals. So they leverage on this infrastructure, uh, Hong Kong, as, as well as in the region, to grow their business. A couple of companies have been uh, profiled in different uh, literature 
for example, different uh, magazine, etc., and also uh, won a lot of awards uh, recently. So this actually give us some sign that you know maybe we can help them to be the next ten cents, next Baidu from Hong Kong. So what what we can help them? Okay, so we actually get a whole bunch of startup companies, and then uh, about uh, tr 24 months ago, about two years ago, that we gather them and asking them, you know, if we provide cloud service, what kind of service they, or, or, or software they require? We could begin this journey by this focus group, and basically they are telling us that they are lack of, you know, IT or cloud expertise. And they, are, they don't know. They are still very much on the client-server era, and uh, a lot of database, they are still using the so-called traditional Intel kind of uh, um, uh, old architecture. And they're worried. You know, some of them are, are tasting you know, some of the public cloud service, and they are worried about their uptime, the performance, et cetera. Because Hong Kong, after all, uh, we don't have a lot of uh, old, uh, US companies that set up their data center in Hong Kong at, at, at two years ago. The support, how about, uh, and also the costing. And if they want to uh, get the, the so-called image back from a lot of this cloud service provider, can, it get, can they get it back? So these are all the questions they, they kind of are, are posting to, to us, and we are trying to help them on trying to uh, resolve these kind of issues. So again, what kind of service? And then we are kind of thinking, you know, maybe we should you know, offer some of the uh, ELP you know, CRM kind of application, you know, like a SaaS, to serve those startup companies. But are we, you know, keep up with the industry? How about we, we set up a, a cloud service that we can kind of compatible with the public cloud service offering, uh, like infrastructure service or even some of the past services? So after all this uh, kind of discussion, we kind of uh, nailed down that, you know, maybe we should kind of position ourselves as the so-called the uh, community cloud. So we have a hybrid model, you know, private, public, and then, um, you know, how we can leverage on this. We make sure that we have a very good uh, tunnel as well as a gateway to a lot of this cloud service provider. So we kind of realign ourselves that we, we have to be ensure that our cloud, if we build our own cloud, we have to ensure that we can replicate to a lot of this public cloud service provider uh, and, and then we can work with them together as so-called a, uh, a cloud service offering. So we try to look at our own infrastructure. Because our infrastructure, we have this network, we have this uh, um, you know, storage. So the first journey we try to is to virtualize the storage. So we, we go to look around and then try to see what kind of technology are available out there. So, you know, of, obviously the, uh, you know, OpenStack has come to our mind and then um, we try to give a taste of this and then we try to virtualize uh, based on, uh, you know, the Cinder technology. Uh, because th there are a lot of this uh, requirement from this startup company, they, they want efficient I.O. Because a lot of those are offering like, um, you know, streaming services or maybe uh, some, of the, some of them require rendering, you know, software rendering. So we have to make sure that this, this, the storage uh, um, uh, element, we have to uh, make sure it's very efficient. On the network side, we also have been using uh, VLAN to segment our network for a while, and then we are looking into different hypervisor. Okay, so, you know, this. Uh, I think everyone here, you know, kind of agree with with uh, me that, you know, this uh, OpenStack phenomenon, you know, has been, uh, you know, this this graph is kind of telling you that, you know, just, you know, three years less than, or, or you know, three and a half years about. So we can see the momentum is growing so fast, and and it, it takes, you know, Linux of almost ten years to kind of achieve, and we we can see this. Uh, and then we, we want to be on board, you know, so we, we kind of are doing this uh, about a year. So we have gone through different iteration. Uh, we, we test out the Diablo assets. And then after we have the, uh, received the foursome release, we think that maybe it's ready. So we, we gather 30 of the uh, companies that we try to offer a pilot, um, you know, program for them. 
And this 30 of uh, different startup companies, they have been uh, you know, heavy users of AWS or some other uh, public cloud service. And mo they have different uh, requirements. So we've, we think that maybe we can offer this uh, as, as a so-called test case. And so far, we are, I think we are very successful to, to, say, to kind of conclude that um, this pilot has been very successful. And then uh, it actually give us, uh, it convince us that maybe we should do it a bigger way. So OK, so I can give you some of the successful case uh, that have been using uh, our, our pilot, cloud pilot. So you can, you can tell this is uh, one of the uh, software, our software rendering. Uh, we try to um, ensure the, the whole uh, infrastructure is virtualized. And then we put this so-called uh, render software on top. And then every so-called customer or a startup company, when they want to submit a job, they can submit different uh, segment of the, of the animation. And then we, we can take, take the load from the desktop. And this is very successful, and we have been uh, managed to scale up uh, a lot of these uh, applications. And this is kind of a, uh, offer this as a so-called software as a service to the uh, user. Another type of uh, you know kind of application is we call it IoT, you know, Internet of Things. So this application actually collect a lot of uh, sound, you know, noise from all around Hong Kong. And then they have this, uh, you know, uh, this device, and then sending all this data back to the cloud. This has been uh, also very scalable because they have been uh, using this uh, nonstop uh, to collect different sound samples, and then they will give alerts or even penalty uh, if there there's certain uh, violate of the of the uh, uh, over certain noise level. Related to IoT application is the building management. As you, un you can understand, Hong Kong actually have a lot of high-rise building. And you using or leveraging on this uh, so-called um, Internet of Things, uh, we can make sure the building are more intelligent. We can uh, have less people, and then we can try to collect a lot of data. For example, the, the, the temperature, the uh, the as, and as as well as some of the um, you know for maintenance and repairing works can be conducted uh, very efficiently. As you can understand, the um, Hong Kong is also you know uh, part of China, and China is actually getting their geographic information. So they have been launching a map, you know GPS, uh, and very soon they will. You know, fly up their satellite, and then um, we're able to integrate all this information. Uh, and so we have a company who, who has been leveraged on this uh, phenomenon, and then take take on this as well. So, so in the very near future, you know, in Hong Kong, you know, so you can have using some of the map offered by this uh, Tinde to the uh, companies. Okay, so social media is also very important because you can have a spike. You know, for example, a conference, you ask for a Q&A, so you can get instantaneous feedback from the audience. So this is also a very classic, you know, uh, take advantage of the cloud computing power. So because most of the time you have idle resources, you can save a lot of loading on, on, the, uh, uh, on the server. But if you have the you know, spike of traffic, you know, the cloud can spin it up and then can can increase the capacity to take care of this, uh, this loading from the audience. So this is another good example of how they can leverage on the cloud. And this company has been uh, pretty successful raising funding uh, recently. OK, we also try to share our own success. And then we try to write up different um, you know, successful story uh, by leveraging on uh, OpenStack um, you know, this, this deployment. OK, so this Monday, before the summit, we take advantage of this to launch our community cloud. So I can share with you uh, some of the so-called design goal. 
we try to help the com companies or staff, com uh, staff companies to look in to ensure that they don't have so-called a vendor login uh, problem by using different cloud service provider. And the self-provision is also very important. And we also include that because the, the community cloud we are uh, riding on Grizzly release, so very timely we can um, have the uh, Neutron, the plug-in, uh, so we also can enable the so-called SDN uh, features uh, within the cloud environment. And we also uh, leverage on a third-party software to offer so-called cloud admin, you know, to manage different uh, public cloud as well as our private cloud. So this, this also uh, are available to our startup company. The load balancing as well as the API, those are all, all kind of come in a box. So the companies can kind of take advantage of this. And imagine you are a startup company, you know, you can get it uh, from, from the community cloud. And uh, they don't need to you know, run around or sending email, no one answer, and then we can help them to, to leverage on this platform and then try to build up their application. So we save a lot of their so-called time and, and energy. OK, so we just launched it, and it offered to our so-called uh, community. So, uh, and it's a self provision and uh, we, are tr we have been offering SDN, as I mentioned, and uh, different network, uh, firewall as a service, can be offered as a package. And so far, we, um, you know, in our early uh, trial, we have been enjoying a pretty stable uh, environment, so we can offer like 99.95 uh, uptime. And also, the data center, we are on certi uh, ISO uh, 27000 uh, certification. So this all is kind of come in uh, to offer to our startup uh, companies. So th this is a kind of a promise that we, we, we've been uh, uh, to our Hong Kong startup. So my, you know, I kind of, uh, you know, kind of wrap up. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just a beginning of our uh, cloud journey. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, we're, you know in a couple of months, we need to up, do an upgrade and do a maintenance. Uh, so we are trying to improve our you know, uh, offering as well. So we are seriously looking into the, uh, the past uh, uh, service as well, and also the heat offering if uh, we can uh, have using the orchestration as well. So this, this is just a small step to a, I think uh, this phenomenon will be, will be continued. And uh, I'm just, you know, need to thank the, for the community, you know, to the OpenStack, uh, you know, all the contributor, and uh, we we enjoying all this uh, with, you know, with with uh, the rest of the community. So yeah. So any questions, if I will. Okay. So if not, thank you. <laughs>